Well, it's been a little more than a month since a deadly shooting at the Muskogee Mall. Mall officials admit business has been slow, but they're trying a new approach to welcome back old customers. News on 6 reporter Jeffrey Smith has the latest. Mall leaders say some families are still uncomfortable coming back to the mall, so the police department is doing everything it can to reach out. Muskogee cops were out in force at the mall, but for a much different reason than last month, when a shooting here killed a teenager and injured five other people. The shockwaves from that tragedy are still being felt. Is this your first time back at the mall since last month's shooting? Yes, it is. Cops know it's a pressing matter. Belinda McCarty says she didn't feel safe coming back until she heard of this outreach event called Arrowfest. It was fear. I was kind of kind of scared to come back after what had happened. Dozens of kids got their fingerprints taken. You just relax and I'll do all the work, okay? Let's As cops explain the importance of trusting law enforcement officers. See, we got a picture of it. The fire department was also on hand. And there was even an arts and crafts booth for the kids. I think it sends out a good message that shows that we're we're here, we're uh, we're vigilant. Mall manager Scott Stevenson says the first few weeks after the shooting were slow, but business has been picking up. When they come back, they see that nothing's changed. Everything's the same. Um, Mall's busy. I mean, we, we're still here. Security guards still walk the mall, and since late April, the police department has started doing bike patrols. They have two bicycles with more on the way. McCarty says as a mom, she appreciates the extra effort. I was scared to get back. I was scared that it was going to happen again. Didn't really feel safe until, until just now. And the police department has ordered four more bikes to patrol the rest of downtown and the city parks. And those bikes will be here sometime in the next eight weeks. Jeffrey Smith, the News on 6.